morning. It's a lovely day in Dar es Salaam. We are ready to hit the road for the first time in a month. Ufudo luckily allowed us into the car and we are heading north again. It's been a while so let's see what the northern part of Tanzania brings us. While heading north along the coast we ran into this vehicle handmade by a taxi driver that wants to become a helicopter pilot. A TV crew was busy documenting the progress on the vehicle. It's amazing what you can get done if you put your mind to it. We spent a few blissful days at Bagamoyo on the northern coast of Tanzania before we headed inland to the Uzambara mountains where Karin wanted to continue her quest for chameleons. The rugged mountain terrain and thick green foliage of the forest was a welcome change as well was the cooler temperatures at higher altitude. We could take leisurely walks around the lake and it was one of the few places where there was a reasonably wheelchair accessible walk in the forest where I could get out with Karin. We also camped in wonderful campsites with thick mountain foliage everywhere around us and a multitude of bird life. Okay, we're ready into a very bright light and we're gonna go hunt for chameleons at night. <coughs> Because it's better to see them at night. They, they're not that shy and they, yeah, they, hopefully they will be more visible. So happy hunting. And she did find a lot of chameleons that night. Cricket. And a chameleon. The cricket. I think it's bigger than the chameleon. Karin had the privilege of seeing pygmy chameleons in the wild. They are one of the most endangered species of chameleons. Tonight is my second attempt for my quest um, for chameleons. Um, in search of chameleons. Last night I saw quite a few pygmy chameleons and tonight I will hopefully see one, two and three horned chameleons. And she did find three horned chameleons that night as she became better in her search. She also ran into some frogs and a little snake while searching for chameleons. And then it was time to head further east, inland, to explore some more mountain forests and Kokarin to continue her quest for chameleons. In the town of Lusoto, we found a very nice campsite with some resident chameleons. This time, two horned chameleons. We left exploring this little town in the middle of the mountains, with some German heritage on top. Then we headed off towards Mosh and Mount Kilimanjaro. Today we are visiting the Shanga craft workshop to see what people with disabilities can do from recycled material. Um, so come with us and we will show you. It's a social enterprise empowering the physically challenging people. It's been very successful over 10 years now running. So it's why kind of isolated and Shanga farm is very important. We initiate the workshop like this so that we teach them the skills where they become productive and It was fantastic to see what could be done when you take old glass, break it up, melt it down and then make artwork, glassware and ornaments from it. 
to empower people with disabilities. Next time on Fearless on Four Wheels, we're heading to Arusha National Park. I have a close encounter with sardines and monkeys, and Karin gets a chance to say, I had a farm in Africa. <laughs> Thank you for supporting our channel. Please share our videos on social media. If you would like to get access to exclusive behind the scenes content made only for you, please go to www.patreon.com forward slash fearless on four wheels and buy us a cup of coffee a month for each video we post we will send you fearless on four wheels merchandise and you will see our videos first